Here are five foods that you have to try if you ever visit Sardinia. Sardinia is one of the five blue zones in the world. Now these are places where the general life expectancy is 100 years old. And this is for a few reasons. They walk a lot uphill, they prioritise their family and work, and they eat really, really good food. Number one, pizzetta. Okay, this is a pizzetta sfoglia, which uh, sfoglia means, means puff pastry. They're basically, um, they're only made in Cagliari, and they're very proud of them. They're basically a calzone, so wrapped in uh, puff pastry. Inside is all this beautiful pizza filling. I've got anchovies and capers, and they're bloody delicious. Number two, collegionis. Monica, what are these? Okay, this is kulurjanas, which is a typical Sardinian dish, and it's made of potatoes, mint, and it's served, it's served with tomato sauce and uh, cheese. These little pillows of joy are a typical Sardinian pasta and are famous for their unique folded pattern. The beautiful handiwork. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Is it good? Mm, the mm. mint's really good. Yeah, it's mm. nice. Number three, Botaga. I'm just arriving at the San Benedetto market. These are apparently one of the best markets in Europe, and we're gonna find us some Botaga. Let's check it out. Known as Mediterranean caviar, Botaga is salted and cured fish roe, and is commonly from the grey mullet. It's often grated over dishes like pasta, but can also be eaten on its own in thin slices. Mm, it's very salty. Kind of like a dried anchovy. Like a big umami bomb. Mm. Number four, pane carasal. Pane carasal, a very traditional Sardinian flatbread. Carasal means toasted, but it's also known as music bread or pane da musica because of the lovely sound it makes. Uh, it was used by shepherds because it kept so long and because they'd be out for months at a time and they just eat this with sheep's or goat's cheese. Uh, it's really great as a starter for antipasto, but it's also used in other dishes like soups. And my favorite version is the Sardinian lasagna. Just like an ordinary traditional lasagna, except the sheets of pasta are replaced with sheets of catasau which makes for a super crunchy crust, while still allowing for the gooey goodness in the center. Delicioso. Number five, pardula. Ciao, buongiorno. Posso scattare del foto? Grazie. Uh, C'è padulas? C'è padulas? Grazie. Clearly got the pronunciation wrong there. Grazie. These are soft little cakes that are often stuffed with ricotta and flavoured with honey or lemon or saffron. And they're also in these cute little pastry baskets that are made with semolina and lard. Uh, and there's a saffron that gives them their yellow colour. So they're often referred to as little suns. <laughs> Usually made to be eaten and celebrated at Easter time, but these guys are so good, you can get them all year round. Mm.